what's what's next? You go ahead and take your shirt off and hop on up the stairs. Put a disclaimer out there, uh, this lunch does not work out like you used to anymore. <laughs> okay. We'll talk about body image later on in the school year, so do not judge me. All right. Okay, so if you enter the stairs, there are some steps in here. You can, if you want, you can step on here so you can kind of feel them coming in. So there are some steps on the side of the tank there. You can take the step down. Okay. As you enter the tank, try not to hit the chair. We're going to try to zero out the chair first. All right. So go all the way down to the bottom and submerge yourself to shoulder level. Just kind of lean up against the tank without touching the chair. There and hang tight. It's warm. Yep. <laughs> Gotta make sure it's warm. All right. So you can come on up there and you can go ahead and sit in the chair. Okay. Make sure that you're always in contact with the chair as we do the trials. What is the purpose of being out the chair? Just so that it has a baseline level with your weight inside. Okay. That way nothing else is really affecting like extraneous factors outside gotcha. of your own weight. Okay, so what's gonna happen is while keeping hold of the chair, you're going to dunk your head into the water and okay. basically expel all the air out inside of your lungs to get rid of the residual volume inside your lungs. Okay. Okay, and so we suggest that you just blow everything out while you're above water so you're okay. not underneath the water for forever gotcha. and blow all your air, okay. okay? Let me just take him away for a second. Okay, and so once I see all the bubbles come out of your, come out, basically what's gonna happen, do you hear the tank, the tank tapping? And okay. you can bring your head back up. All right. We have about five trials here. Okay. Okay, so whenever you're ready. They have four more times with that. <laughs> all right. Whenever you are ready. That's why a lot of people think this is a difficult test because of all the air you have to blow out. Yeah. Just three more times like that. Well, that guy likes to annoy you there. That's okay. <laughs> Good, two more times. Right. The results are coming in pretty nicely too. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Doing a good job. They better appreciate this video. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so basically what happened here, the f of the five trials, body density was collected while inside the tank using your H2O weight. And with the five trials, we usually try to take the, um, not really the median score, but the one that occurs most often. Okay. And all five results came out pretty nicely, so we can use the trials here. And because 3.1 came in most often, and it actually is in the middle between the five trials, let's go ahead and take that. And what happens when we do that, it comes out with all the information here. 
So using your information, your body weight and the body density that was collected, it gathered your body fat percentage about 20.62%, plus or minus about one or 2% because every machine has a little bit of uh -huh. error to it. And so using that percentage, it divides your fat weight up into pounds versus your lean body weight. Lean body weight can be bones, muscles, organs, anything that's just not fat. And so your desirable weight at your height, the computer computed at 164 pounds and need a weight loss about 11 pounds if you want to get down to about the okay. 12 to 15 percent lean body range for males. Okay. Okay. So that's all the results there. Um, I'll go ahead and email you. This is a bod pod. It is a capsule that measures body composition similar to the hydrostatic weighing. The only main difference is that the hydrostatic weighing you get wet versus this one you stay dry. So what happens is the person goes inside this capsule and this is kind of like a test dummy. And so when the person goes inside the capsule, the bod pod measures body volume via air displacement. And so air displacement, there's air traveling between the two chambers here to kind of determine how much space the person is taking up inside the bod pod. And so depending on how much space is taken up inside the bod pod, in addition to how much a person weighs, the bod pod then calculates the body fat percentage versus the lean body mass percentage.